Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court Reprise is back in session. And uh, once again, the floor is given la to the prosecution to go for the questions to this expert. Qui continuer à interroger l'expert? May proceed. Je vous en prie. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les juges, Madame Becker, je m'appelle Nicolas Comdian, je suis le coprocureur international. I would like to take advantage of your being an American journalist. Vous êtes une journaliste américaine. Significant time in Southeast Asia. Vous avez passé beaucoup de temps en Asie du Sud-Est. Et j'aimerais profiter de cette expérience. Democratic Cambodia. Mais avant de parler du Cambodge démocratique et de vous interroger sur la période 75-79, j'aimerais évoquer le contexte des relations américano-vietnamiennes. Career as a journalist, comme journaliste, did you, in fact, durant votre carrière, avez-vous couvert l'histoire des relations entre les États-Unis et le Vietnam? When the light is on. Réponse oh, inaudible. Um, yes. Réponse. Uh, oui. Specifically, generally, in terms of the American war in Vietnam and Concernant how it la guerre des états unis au Vietnam, led into the war laquelle in a débouché sur la guerre au Cambodge, à ce moment-là, oui, work, question, dans le contexte officials, de votre travail, avez-vous discuté avec des responsables américains, et je parle ici de la période postérieure à 1975 et au mois d'avril de cette année-là, avez-vous rencontré et interroger des responsables américains concernant les relations avec le Vietnam. Yes. Réponse. Yes, yes. Oui. The pause is due Question. to the translation ongoing. And si je marque une pause, c'est parce que nous sommes interprétés. Et comme je parle assez rapidement, je vais ralentir. Vous êtes-vous également entretenu avec des groupes politiques, des groupes d'intérêt aux États-Unis qui s'intéressaient à cette question Je pense par exemple à des anciens combattants américains de la guerre du Vietnam ainsi qu'avec des familles de gens qui ont disparu au combat pendant la guerre du Vietnam. Réponse. Oui, je me suis entretenu avec des groupes d'anciens combattants du Vietnam, les familles de prisonniers de guerre, des responsables des autorités, aussi avec d'autres groupes. Et au Washington Post, on me demandait de couvrir ce genre de choses. You've already mentioned that there was a traumatic experience in American political life. Que dans la vie politique américaine, what most people view as the first defeat of the American military in the war in Vietnam. Défaite des Américains au Vietnam. Vous avez dit que ça avait eu beaucoup d'effets. Est-ce que ces effets se sont poursuivis et se sont exercés sur les relations avec le Vietnam après 75? Yes, and um, oui. this is, you see this in, um, particularly when, you know, President Ford, Le President Ford pardons the people who dodged the draft, that caused a big stir, les réfractaires then de la conscription, President ça a causé Carter, beaucoup d'émoi, ensuite, um, le président Carter a essayé de voir s'il pouvait Vietnam. renouer les relations avec and le Vietnam. Et c'est là qu'on peut le voir. Et il était difficile, ne fût-ce que d'évoquer la question. Il y avait beaucoup d'écueils du fait de cette défaite. Quelle que soit la question concernée, les gens ne voulaient pas en parler. Question. Your interviews, your knowledge and sur le fondement des entretiens que vous avez effectués, de votre connaissance, de votre expérience, est-ce que les relations 
américano vietnamienne ont été influencés par le contexte de guerre froide et par les relations entre le Vietnam et l'Union soviétique. Réponse. Oui. Comme les États-Unis s'orientaient vers les Chinois suite à la scission Union soviétique-Chine, cela n'a fait que causer plus de problèmes. Il n'y avait pas seulement les problèmes consécutifs à la défaite américaine. En plus de cela, les Vietnamiens étaient alliés avec euh, l'autre camp suite à la scission Union soviétique Chine et surtout après l'invasion de l'Afghanistan par l'Union soviétique. Question. Est-ce que les relations entre le Vietnam ont été influencées par euh, um, cette situation military, Question. Uh, Réponse. Event was le principal signing événement militaire, c'était que le Vietnam a signé un pacte d'amitié avec l'Union soviétique juste avant l'invasion du Cambodge. Et ça, ça a scellé le marché qui a été ainsi conclu. C'était la fin. Et après cela, toute relation était impossible. Au gouvernement américain, il y avait certains groupes And they kept popping up everywhere. So um, there's no question after that. That was the end. Voulez. Okay, we've discussed the factors, but can you now explain what was the state of relations between the United States government and Vietnam's government from 1975 to 1979? Question inaudible. At the At the beginning of the administration of President Jimmy Carter, there was a, there was a window where um, there were uh, negotiations. Then Assistant Secretary of State Richard Holbrook uh, had, was closing and, and um, Leonard Woodcock, in fact. Uh, there, there was a moment where it looked like there might be a resumption of relations. On pensait que it was les the beginning, it was the honeymoon reprendre. period for the Carter administration. En fait la lune de miel the, Carter. But they bogged down because the Mais Vietnamese trompés, wanted war reparations. Euh, And um, de guerre. it would have been a stretch to get relations, but to give war reparations was not going to happen. Et so, ça um, ça pas être possible du tout. Just when the Vietnamese were beginning to realize they were losing it, the Americans pulled the plug. So relations, that, except for that very brief period, relations became, were very sour. Les relations sont devenues assez tendues. Thank you. So is, would it be correct to say that there was Question. no formal Diplomatic relations between the United States and Vietnam. Between 1975 and 1979. Between 1975 and 1979. No, there were no relations, and it would be effectivement decades before there were. Il n'y avait pas de relations, et on a dû attendre des décennies avant que il y en ait. In your all of your studies, Question. interviews, études, including to date, things that have come out, whether it's WikiLeaks et dans, or Freedom of Information les, request information, ou dans have you sources, come across any information about military cooperation between the United States and Vietnam from 1975 to 1979? Was there any? Um, not that I know of. Réponse pas à ma connaissance. The next, the uh, when there is finally cooperation, it is to recover the remains of uh, missing. I mean, the missing in action. Lorsqu'il y a enfin eu coopération, so so clear. You're saying eventually there was cooperation. Cela a été pour retrouver les, les personnes, des personnes disparues au combat. Allowed American military to go search Question. for the remains. 
of American soldiers who died or went missing during the conflicts in Southeast Asia. Yes. Yes. Now I'd like to take up Judge Laverne's invitation and speak to you briefly about an interview you conducted with Ng Tariq. De l'entretien and menu that avec is Yang a Tirit. document that is E3659. And perhaps it'd be helpful if we could give a copy to the witness. Il serait peut-être utile de remettre un exemplaire au témoin. Would that be possible, Mr. President? M'y autorisez-vous, Monsieur le Président? President, yes, le Président. you can do so. Allez-y. And just <coughs> the French ERN begins 00743047. I believe. Or that's the page I'm going to, 047048. The Khmer is 00578892289900. So I'm going to the top of page 25, page 25 of that interview, which has the ERN 00182322 in English. Le RN finit par 2322 en anglais. Let me ask you, um, this document in front of you, do you recognize Première question. Uh, you haven't had much time to look at it, but you recognize this as um, Mais being some kind of transcript of your le interview. Yes, it is. I reviewed it over the weekend. Did you take the course during the weekend? weekend. Thing, question. Vous souvenez -vous de cet or did you take notes? How did you record it? it? It's just a tape recording. Réponse. C'était un enregistrement. Do you recall when it was Question. that you interviewed her? Savez-vous quand l'entretien a eu lieu? October 1980. Réponse. Okay. C'était en octobre 1980. Where did the interview take place? Question. Où a eu lieu cet entretien? In New York. Réponse. Around, à New York. Um, the UN. Près de l'ONU. Now at the top of page 25, Question. the transcript page 25. reads, that in, and it indicates IT, I presume that's Ying Tarit, stated, IT, donc que Ying Tarit yes, I was répond, traveling oui, in order to see the conditions of the people. And at the time when I Et came back in Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh, I reported to our leaders that there was something queer in que some province, provinces. provinces. For example, il, in Batambang, Batambang I saw something very clear that they make people, all people going to the rice fields, very far from the village, and they have no home. And I saw they have no home. And they are all ill. I reported to my leaders that. Do you recall an answer like that from Ying Tarit? Do you recall an answer like that from Yes. Réponse, oui. And then I'm going to summarize Question. a bit, and uh, if there's any objection, I'll read the entirety. 
You then asked her who were the leaders, and she said she reported to the prime minister. But she said that uh, it was Ross Nim. He was in the northwest region. She goes on and says, at the time, I told my leader, I'm now reading verbatim, there is something wrong in that province because I know the directives of the prime minister, not young, not old people, not pregnant women, not women feeding babies and not small children. But I saw everybody there in the rice fields, in open air, nothing, and with the sun, very hot sun. I saw many people ill of diarrhea and malaria, so I reported it to him. Does that coincide with your recollection of what Ingtarit told you? Cela correspond-il à vos souvenirs? Yes. Réponse oui. Now, in your interview Question. with Paul Pot, Dans votre did he avec also Pot, confirm that he received regular reports from the provinces or regions? De la part des provinces ou des régions? Yes. Réponse oui. And can you tell us if you Question. received any other confirmation from any source that reports were made from si the regions to the center? Relativement au rapport qui était transmis des provinces vers le centre. Yes, it's all Réponse throughout. If you oui. read the Tool Slang Confessions, si vous les when they de begin the biographies and they believe that if they tell the truth, they'll get freed. Often they talk about the reports to the center about you know, the supplies needed, the, the different things that are going on. Dans les rapports, on parlait des fournitures nécessaires et que d'autres questions étaient abordées. I believe this morning, Judge Laverne showed you an article you wrote. Ce matin, le juge Laverne, someone correct me if my recollection is wrong. But it talked where you quoted Paul Pot speaking about people's courts, and he said it was according to the principle of democratic centralism. Do you recall that? Yes. Can you explain your understanding of democratic centralism? Uh, it's, a, it's a communist idea that, um, The authority is, is centralized, i.e. there's one authority. And you call it democratic centrale. because you, um, Il y a une seule Et puis, on you say that it's popular. Parce que dit que but une there is not a democratic component populaire. as we would understand en fait, it of people electing somebody. Under democratic centralism, who made Question. the decisions? It's top down. Réponse, les décisions sont prises tout en haut et sont appliquées vers le bas. I want to briefly go forward Question. a couple of pages in that interview to the bottom of page 28, 28 in English. So that's ends in that's the ERN 00182325. And for those following other languages, this is a little past 37 minutes in the interview. You make a comment at the bottom of the page, but when I went to DK, in fact, I didn't see that. I think I saw two schools, and I saw many children working in the fields. Ing Tarit then told you, yes, part day schools. They work half a day. They learn half a day. They work half a day according to the circumstances of that time, not full day schools. Then at 38 minutes. Because at that time, you see, we had to combine manual work with study. 
Does that coincide with your recollection of what Ingtari told you? Cela correspond-il à vos souvenirs? Vous souvenez-vous que Yangtirit a dit cela? Yes. Réponse oui. Does it coincide with what you saw in terms Question, of seeing children at work à savoir des enfants qui working for the DK authorities pour les autorités in your trip in 1978? Au cours de votre séjour là-bas en 78? Well, I saw them working, I didn't see them studying. Je les ai vus travailler, mais pas étudier. When you saw, when you talk about seeing children working, can you give us an idea of how young the children were that you saw working? Ces enfants étaient-ils très jeunes? Well, there were, there were, you know, Children under five carrying firewood. Réponse. Je me souviens d'enfants de plus de cinq ans qui transportaient du bois. That's as young. Les fagots. Toddler, just above toddler, you saw um, what they called fishing co-ops, which were a bunch of kids fishing. Il y avait des fishing, bambins qui pêchaient. Uh, up through, you know, as I said, young, young sort of middle school age children being ferried les... around in, in trucks. And then we, we weren't allowed to get terribly close to the fields, so you could only see the, the I can't tell you exactly how young they were, but you saw them you know, with bricks, brick making, all, almost every kind of work situation, there would be children involved. Thank you. Now I'd like to take you a few Question. pages Merci. further. Je poursuis quelques pages plus loin. At page 20, excuse me, 43, near page the end of the interview, just before and after the 36-minute mark, the English urn is 00182340. 0018-2340 en anglais. And above, you see on that page, you had a discussion about the United States bombing of Vous Cambodia. Du du bomb and Interit talked about 200 Cambodge. days and nights of enfin, bombing without interruption. De bombardement incessant. She, she said she was in the country Elle dit qu'elle était dans le, dans le pays à l'époque. Et puis, elle dit que ça s'est passé entre février et août. Je pense que c'est une réaction de self-défense. Mais les Vietnamiens étaient derrière tout cela. Les Vietnamiens. Et puis, vous avez demandé derrière les États-Unis. Et elle a répondu oui. Et elle a répondu oui. Vous voyez. Because they worked by proxy at the time. They dare not openly say things against us, but they began the wars since 1975 because they attack us in 1975. Ms. Becker, based on, in 1973, were you in Cambodia? Yes. Réponse oui. Based on your knowledge of the, the political and military situation, uh, in 1973, the war in Vietnam was still raging. Is that correct? Le Vietnam était-il toujours en guerre? The war was still going on. The Americans Réponse. were beginning their their oui. um, pullout after the Paris Peace Accords. But yeah, there's war in Vietnam and war in Paris. Cambodia. And the United States was backing the South Vietnamese authorities in that war in a full-scale military conflict with the North and the communist forces in the South, correct? Yes. So what do you make of Ng Tari's statement Blaming the United the Vietnamese for the American bombing of Cambodia. Qui montre du doigt les Vietnamiens, qui accuse les Vietnamiens, qui serait 
caché derrière, ou les États-Unis qui seraient cachés derrière les Vietnamiens. Uh, it makes no sense. It's irrational. Now, was this kind of accusation against Vietnam, blaming them for, in this case, American bombing, atypical of how the government of Democratic Kampuchea responded in explaining the problems in Cambodia? C'est ce qui me permettait apparemment au Cambodia démocratique de d'expliquer les problèmes qu'il rencontrait. President, Madame Expert, uh, please wait and Madame Coupé, you have the floor. Uh, I Maître object Coupé, to this vous question. Avez la um, the witness or the expert cannot Je possibly say. Je soulève une objection. Um, L'accusation ne peut demander à l'experte ce que pensaient les dirigeants ou d'autres personnes à l'époque. Uh, clearly. Um, we'll, we'll back to that. Nous y reviendrons, mais il ne faut pas prendre les choses littéralement. J'y reviendrai parce que l'on retrouve is, cette, uh, cela dans le paragraphe suivant. Expert, um, she Madame Becker est une experte, mais elle n'a pas à faire de suppositions uh, quant aux opinions ou aux suppositions par rapport à ce qu'aurait pu dire Yang Tirit. Elle peut avoir beaucoup d'autres raisons, mais la façon dont la question est formée est formée de telle façon que l'expert ne peut pas répondre à ça. À notre avis, l'expert ne peut pas répondre à la question telle qu'elle a été posée. Mr. President, contrary to what defense counsel just did, I didn't say what was in Yang Tirit's mind. I'm not asking her what was in the minds. Of the leaders of Democratic Kampuchea. What I'm asking her is, based on all of her interviews and her readings of official statements of the government of Democratic Kampuchea, did they blame Vietnam for all of the internal problems of Democratic Kampuchea? Did that happen or didn't? President, the objection by the defense team is uh, overruled. As the chamber rejeté. needs to hear the response from la the expert to the last question la put by the prosecution de and Madame Expert, if you can recall Madame the last question put to you, you may respond. Question, vous um, yes, in the, in the last, particularly Réponse. in the last two years of democratic Kampuchea, officially and in um, the documents later read, the, Viet, the Democratic Kampuchea did um, find the Vietnamese to be the problem behind all sorts, to be the source behind all kinds of problems. Okay, thank you. I'm finished with that interview, but I would like to ask you now a few questions about an interview you did with Ng Sari. And so could the witness please be given, perhaps we can retrieve the last document and give her E393, E3 slash 93, and that is at ERN. In English, Your Honor, may I hand it to her? Yes, uh, you can do so. Oui. Becker, you spoke uh, this morning about Madame speaking Becker, to Ng Sari during your trip. Is that correct? You interviewed him during your trip. Yang Sari. Est-ce que cela est exact? Oh, yes. Réponse. Oui. And I don't want to repeat what's already been said, but just to remind us, that is when you said that you talked to him about human rights reports, about uh, killings in Cambodia submitted to the UN, if I remember correctly, and he said that uh, he admitted them but said we did what we could to avoid killings. Is that correct? 
you know, uh, first, let me just say, if there's any time you're not sure of something, si just say so. I don't want to put any words in your mouth. Dire, je ne veux pas vous mettre en bouche des mots qui ne seraient pas les vôtres. Yes, that was in the interview, but I don't think we oui, talked about it this morning. Mais je ne pense pas que nous en ayons parlé pour autant ce matin. And just for the council's benefit, the document that I was thinking of was for Avec the 79 le, le interviews D31251. But I want to go concentrate on another interview you had with Ing Sari. Did you interview him? Vous êtes vous in entretenu avec Yang Sari en 1991. 1991, se corrige l'interprète. Yes. Réponse. Where did that exacte. interview take place? Question. Où a eu lieu cet entretien? Uh, the UN mission of democratic réponse. À la mission du démocratique près des Nations Unies à New York. Now, Question. if you turn to the second page si of that interview, page de cet entretien, document E394, document E3 in 94, English, this is ERN 00342501, in Khmer 00578895, and the French, I believe it's at the bottom, of 00602000. In Sari, you were talking about your trip, vous êtes en train de discuter avec Yang and he Sari said that he was worried about a coup. And then it says at the la bottom three lines Et in English, en anglais, dans les trois parentheses, answer lignes. to my interjection, Il est dit, entre quote, parenthèses, I was not in charge of security. Je I only pas heard reports on security. Je fait les and then parentheses, au sujet de la sécurité. who was in charge of security, end of parentheses. Three or four very Trois top leaders discussed the matter, débattait, then reported de la question, to the standing committee. Do you recall this conversation with Yang Sari? Yes. Réponse, oui. And when we see on the page QS, what does that mean? Vous voyez sur la page qu'il est écrit QS, en tout cas en version anglaise. So then we see Qu que cela question, veut dire? réponse, cela veut dire who question. Who were those three or four Donc, leaders? Question, qui étaient ces and the answer was Pol Pot, Nun Chia, so réponse, Pim, Pol Pot, and Sun Sen. Son Pim et and Sun Sen was in charge Son of security. De la security. They relied on regional people for reporting on security. Pour faire rapport en matière de sécurité. Do you recall Yang Sari giving that answer to you? Vous que Yang Sari ait donné, vous ait donné cette réponse? Yes. Réponse, oui. Now, from the Question. context, to the best of your recollection, when Ing Sari was talking vous about security, can you contexte, enlighten us at all what Yang he meant Sari by security, security, if you can't uh, tell us? In, well, in this context, it, ce we're contexte, talking about security within the country, national security. And, um, dans le pays, donc de sécurité but nationale. this would not be uh, what in, you would call police per se. It's still, I Mais believe it's still military. We were talking about military parler, because he used the word ici, But it, it was very hard in talking to the, there was not, the distinction between police and, and military was not always clear. Et et pas clair, in that context, did you Question. understand if he was Donc talking about internal enemies, external enemies, or both? Internes, des externes, and if you're not clear, just say so. Et si pour vous, uh, ça pas possible de le savoir, alors pas à le dire. 
Le contexte, c'était un coup d'État. Donc, dans le contexte, President, the co-prosecutor, please uh, switch on your microphone. Monsieur le co-procureur, veuillez allumer votre micro. Thank you, Mr. President. I apologize, trying to find my place. Going to the next page, page four. Page four. It indicates at the top, this is uh, the very beginning of in Khmer ERN 00578897. It ends on the previous page and begins there. It indicates at the top, he returns to the subject of the difficulty in finding cadre to staff his ministry. In Kampuchea, the problem was of finding cadre. We couldn't find cadre to run the ministry. I asked 100 or so Khmer from abroad to open a university in Phnom Penh. We asked for educated. They said no. Question, who was they who said no? Answer, that is the Department of Security, Nunchia and Pong, the Vietnamese agent under Nunchia. Do you recall um, Ng Sari giving you this answer in 1981? Yes. Do you know anything about this pawn that he referred to? Savez-vous qui est ce pawn auquel il fait référence? No. Réponse: Non. Now it indicates that at this point I show Ing Sari a new statesman magazine with reproductions of confessions from Tu Slang, and I ask him if he can verify the documents. Before I read on the interview, can you explain, did you bring something called New Statesman and what is that, what was that? Je voudrais vous aviez bien alors à ce moment-là avec vous le New Statesman et qu'est-ce que le New Statesman? New Statesman is a news magazine published in London. The particular uh, editions of the magazine you brought, what did they deal with? This was a story, one of the first stories about tool slang with the confessions. What did you do with the new statesman in your interview with Ing Sari? I brought the copy of the new statesman, I gave it to him, he looked at it and read it. What language did you conduct the interview in? Question. En quelle langue se déroulait l'entretien? I can't remember. Réponse. Je ne me souviens pas. What language was the article written in? Question. Dans quelle langue l'article était-il rédigé? English. Réponse. Anglais. Did the article Question. include any reproductions, any photographs? Des photos ou autres, des images? Yes, there were um, reproductions of the confession. Oui, il y avait effectivement des passages, des aveux qui avaient été repris, qui étaient dans le magazine. It says, reading on to these notes of the interview, at this Question. point, I show Ing Sari a new statesman magazine with reproductions of confessions from Tool Slang. And I ask him if he can verify the documents. Answer, yes. He says, yes, this is Doik, chief of security in Tool Slang. I learned only about this in New York. 
At that time, à I called it by its number, 21S. Do you recall Ing Sari giving you this vous answer vous after looking at the New Statesman magazine? Yes. <coughs> Réponse, oui. And I appreciate that you're waiting for the light, perhaps just for the audience that might not understand the delay in your answer. The light was not on. So I'll just continue to read on. He said, I thought S21S was on the road to I knew it as headquarters of security. I didn't think they were malicious. The life of the people were considered like packages, inhuman. Question, didn't you know people suspected of being agents were taken there? And he answered, yes. Question. Didn't you know they were killed? He answered, no. They told me only the agents were sent out to cooperatives to be re-educated. And then question, you didn't know what happened to Hu Nim? First of all, was Hu Nim's confession included in the New Statesman? D'abord, est-ce que les aveux sur Hu Nim étaient reproduits dans le New Statesman? Yes. Réponse, oui. And is that reflected also in the notes in the next Question, line? It says, est, parentheses, his confession was reproduced in the New Statesman article. Is that referring to Hunim? Uh, fidèlement, dans l'entretien, il est écrit, ses aveux étaient reproduits dans l'article du New Statesman. Yes. Est-ce est exact? Réponse, oui. And he answered, I wasn't aware. Accusation. I knew only he was arrested and accused as having a conspiracy répond, with Koi Tun, a team of traitors to gain power. Let me ask you, first of all, pouvoir. about these two individuals. Who was Hu Nim? Hu Nim was... Um, was one of the three ghosts. They were um, three intellectuals uh, who were um, des trois fantômes. popular in Phnom Penh in Cambodia during the 60s, including Hu Sampan, Hu Nim, and Hu Yun. Uh, they were um, considered uh, the up-and-coming bright um, intellectuals of the left who had a following and when uh, when they got the name gauche, Three Ghosts after the coup d'etat and um, the Cambodian government le wanted to say that they were no longer in power so that there would not be, in, the, this is the Khmer pouvoir. Republic, so that the, um, the populace Khmer. would not be attracted to the Khmer Rouge. De la sorte, um, la population and ne in fact, my very first article I wrote in my life was about the three ghosts, arguing that in fact they were alive, they were not dead. Uh, C'était justement sur les trois fantômes. So, Pour dire qu'ils étaient encore en vie. The three ghosts who had been linked to the Sihanouk's government, is that correct? Donc, ces trois Did they later appear during the Grunk government par la suite in exile or during the Democratic Kampuchea government after 1975? Après 75. Yes, um, they were part of, in different capacities of oui. Sihanouk's Government. He, um, it was Sihanouk had a tendency to embrace his opponents. Um, 
and um, then they were part of the um, Grunk, who uh, Sampan was, the, tit was the titular head, and the other two were um, ministers. And when Sihanouk made his, Sihanouk, of course, was the, the major uh, titular head, and when um, Prince Sihanouk visited the liberation zone, it was um, the three ghosts who were um, photographed with him and part of the propaganda. Then, um, under Democratic de Kampuchea, Ensuite, um, le Kampuchea only Q Sampan lasted through the, the whole um, his, in his position. The other two were um, killed. Avec, uh, um, fonctions, les deux ont été um, which was, see, I can't remember. I Je think. Me souviens plus. Are you trying to remember the positions that, for example, the position that Hu Nim held? Hu Nim was Minister of Information. Hu Nim était Ministre d'Information. Thank you. <coughs> Dit le témoin expert. L'accusation. Je vous remercie. And then you asked him. L'accusation. Well, perhaps. Um, after he said that he only knew that he was arrested and accused as having a conspiracy with Koitun, a team of traders to gain power, you asked him, did you believe this? He answered, yes. But I always said he couldn't do anything because they had no military behind them. Later, I saw some military went to the other side. So who did you understand Ing Sari to refer to when he said they avis, had no military behind Sari them. Disait, eux. Il aucun eux. Hunim and Koiton. De Hunim et Koiton. Thank you. I want to go back down the page a little bit, go a little bit further. Descendre un peu plus. Um, and Sur cette page, uh, I'm reading from about the uh, ninth line up. Ing Sari says, personally, I wasn't aware of the deaths at all. Question, was Pol Pot aware? Answer, maybe not all the details. He knew the accused were killed, but not their family. At the beginning, if three people accuse someone, it was accepted as true. If three people said someone was CIA or KGB, then that person was arrested. Then at the end of 1977, beginning of 1978, Paul Pot said five people had to accuse. Do you recall this? Uh, particular statement by Yang Sari. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de cette affirmation faite par Yang Sari précisément? Yes. Réponse oui. When he says that Paul Pot knew the accused were killed but not Pot their family. Les gens accusés avaient été exécutés mais pas leur famille. Did Yang Sari Est-ce que Yang Sari was he acknowledging that he knew that the families of pe these people were killed? Que la de ces gens avait été tués? I don't believe so. I mean, not. Réponse, je ne pense pas. He was. I don't think that he knew contemporary. He, he's not acknowledging he knew su. it at the time. No. Il n'a pas reconnu l'avoir su à l'époque. Thank you. Question. I want to just briefly follow up 
with a few questions about à présent, uh, your meeting j'ai quelques Paul questions Pott sur votre rencontre avec Paul Pott en 1979. Now, you had submitted written questions to him. Is Vous that correct? lui aviez présenté des réponses par écrit, est-ce exact yes. Réponse, oui. And if I understood you Question. correctly, si je vous ai bien comprise, when you met with him, you received a lecture about the coming war with Vietnam sur la guerre imminente and contre how le it Vietnam. would turn into a NATO Warsaw Et Pact battle. Il a dit que ça you une also subsequently received written answers to your questions. Is that Mais vous avez aussi reçu par après des réponses écrites à vos questions. Est-ce exact? Yes. Réponse, oui. Um, do you still have Question. the answers that were provided Avez-vous by Pol Pot? En votre possession, the les réponses answers? écrites données par Pol Pot? Yes, but réponse. not with me. Oui, mais je ne les ai pas ici. Now, were these answers Question. to only the? You said there was a set of questions vous dites que plusieurs questions submitted by you and Dudman, par vous-même et and par a separate Dudman. set submitted by vous Malcolm Caldwell. Vous dites que Malcolm Caldwell a posé Which une autre série de questions. Which answers did you receive? Les réponses correspondaient à quelles questions? The ones for us journalists. À celles des journalistes. Did you ever see? Question. Uh, Answers. Do you know if answers were given to Caldwell? Vous sav- savez-vous si des réponses ont été données aux questions de Caldwell? Boy, I can't say for sure. No. Je ne peux pas répondre à la question de Caldwell. When did you receive négative. those answers? Did you receive them at question. the time of the interview Ces réponses, or later? Questions. Les avez-vous reçues lors de l'entretien ou ultérieurement? Um, right after. Pense. Tout de suite it was après. clear that they had already been prepared and after we got déjà home, été they gave it to us. Et une fois rentré chez nous, ils nous les ont donné. Question, seriez-vous prête à remettre cela à la chambre si cela vous était demandé Je fais référence aux réponses uh, écrites. Yes, as, réponse. as I've told the court before, oui, comme je l'ai dit, I deposit them in a public library je les ai... and then I give them to you. Confié As an American journalist, that's the way we do it. à une euh, bibliothèque publique et ensuite je peux par ce biais-là vous les remettre en tant que journaliste. C'est ainsi qu'on procède aux États-Unis. Now, you were not present Question. for the conversation between Caldwell Quand and Pol Pot. Quand Caldwell s'est correct? entretenu avec Pol Pot, vous n'étiez pas présente, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. Réponse. Effectivement. Can you tell us a little bit more about Malcolm Caldwell? Pouvez-vous how you mentioned nous en dire davantage sur Malcolm Caldwell? What was his view of the various communist parties and revolutionary movements in Southeast Asia? communistes et révolutionnaires en Asie du Sud-Est? Réponse. Uh, he was very sympathetic. Il um, he les voyait d'un très bon oeil. In, um, in, a, in not a naive, entirely naive way at all. He was Et a, a sophisticated man. Naïve. Um, and quelqu'un he, he would look at, he, he was so opposed to il était the capitalist system opposé au système that capitaliste he was, à un point tel I would say somewhat blind to the communist system qu'il était, because he was so dirais-je, he was very sympathetic he was very sympathetic au système to, communiste. to the cause il voyait d'un très bon oeil um, la cause and he had already visited north korea il china il était déjà allé en corée du nord um, en chine and then of course um, cambodia et bien sûr au cambodge with us. Avec nous-mêmes. Do you know if he believed Question. that if Vietnam Saviez-vous invaded Cambodia, si it would lead to a NATO Warsaw Pact conflict, conflict on Cambodian soil? Was Malcolm Cambodian Caldwell a believer de in Paul Pot's theory on that, to the best of your knowledge? Pacte de Varsovie. Autrement dit, est-ce qu'il euh, prêtait foi à I, l'hypothèse I de Pol Pot? I don't remember that we um, talked about Je n'ai pas souvenance que nous en ayons parlé. You don't recall whether Question. you explained to Caldwell what Pol Pot si vous avez had said in your interview. À Caldwell ce que Pol Pot vous aviez dit durant votre interview. 
I know we, I, I know we talked about it Je sais que nous en avons parlé durant l'interview. Did he A-t-il réagi Je ne sais plus. Give me if I've asked this question before, question. but when did you receive si the written question, answers and actually physically from who did you receive the written answers? Reçu les questions écrites et concrètement qui vous les a remises? The written answers came when we, after we returned home from the interview. Après notre retour à la maison, après l'entretien. Were you aware question. and how did they come to you? Excuse me. Comment ces réponses vous ont-elles été remises? I don't remember. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Thank you. Question. Now, were you aware of, um, there's something written, you've read Ben Kiernan's book. Vous avez lu l'ouvrage de Ben correct? Kiernan, je pense que vous l'avez dit, Le Régime de Pol Pot et le titre de l'ouvrage. Est-ce exact? Yes. Réponse, oui. On page question 442 à la page 442 jusqu'à la page 450 Maybe the microphone didn't pick that up. On page 442 to 450 he discusses your trip with Malcolm Caldwell. Évoque votre and voyage Dudman. en compagnie de Caldwell and et Dudman. The ERNs are in English 00067723 President, the, president the international co-prosecutor, please repeat the document numbers and again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Ben Kiernan's Question book. I apologize, I didn't, I didn't give you the document number. It is E3 slash 1593. And the ERNs dans les ERN of the section about the trip de la partie are in English in 0068723, Khmer. Et en Khmer, 00063-801. On page 443 in English, Caldwell writes, je cite, Caldwell that in October 7, 1978, Caldwell wrote informing me that DK had just offered him a visa. He was really keyed up to go and holding his book for his return. He added that Khmer's abroad had asked him to inquire about various Cambodians who returned after 1975. This I'm prepared to do. Je suis prêt à le so faire. if you could be thinking of a list you'd si like me to inquire about, please let me have it. And Kiernan writes, I replied, ceci, I replied, our friend, Dr. Dudman, Dudman has been in Cambodia for a long time. Our friends, Lei Roget and Ulam, Ulam, and two others, whom we didn't know well, Chuvut and Kukimsru, went home in July 1976 from Sydney. We'd love to hear how they are. Did you, were you aware that Ben Kiernan had asked Malcolm Caldwell to ask the authorities de s'enquérir auprès autorités du Conseil démocratique du sort de certains Cambodgiens de l'étranger rentrés au pays. No, I didn't know réponse. that. Non, je ne le savais pas. Do you know Question. if Malcolm Caldwell asked Paul Pot si Caldwell what happened à to Pot these people who returned, à ces gens who we now know, pays, for most of them, if not for all of them, were killed? Nous savons qu'elles ont été exécutées pour la majorité d'entre elles, voire toutes. We all did. 
you know Réponse, has, nous l'avons um, tous fait. Question, savez-vous si Caldwell a answer. interrogé Pol Pot là-dessus Je n'ai pas compris la réponse. We all réponse. Officials. Nous avons tous interrogé des responsables. J'ignore si Malcolm Caldwell, Caldwell Pol Pot a interrogé no, Pol Pot en personne. Ça, je that. ne le sais pas. Il ne l'a pas dit. Mr. President, do you want me to go on? Monsieur le Président, voulez-vous que je poursuive Le Président. President, thank you, uh, International Co-Prosecutor. It is time now for the le Chamber to adjourn today's proceedings, and we will resume it tomorrow morning. That matin, is Tuesday, 10th February 2015, starting from 9 a.m. And tomorrow, we will continue to hear the testimony of the expert, la de la de Ms. Becker. Madame Becker. And this information is for both the parties to the proceedings and to the general public. Aux et and au Ms. Becker, Madame the Becker, Chamber is grateful for your testimony. And your testimony as an expert is not yet concluded. And you are invited to return terminé. to Vous the court tomorrow morning la from de 9 matin a. A. De 9 and you may now return to your place là, of uh, residence. And court officer, in Ici collaboration with the RISU, please make an uh, necessary arrangement and transportation for the experts to the transport uh, residence and have a return to the courtroom before 9 a.m. And security guards, you are invited to recuse Mon Chia and Kyu Sampan back to the detention de facility and have them return and to the court. Tomorrow, prior to 9 a.m., the court is now adjourned.